Hi kids, and welcome to the 50th Virtual Mini Mix. 50? That's amazing. I wonder how that happened. I found Jesus. I found Jesus. I found Jesus. And he was waiting for me. I found Jesus. I found Jesus. I found Jesus. He gave his life to set me free. I found Jesus. As we've reached our 50th virtual mini mix, today is a very special 50th episode celebration assembly. Celebrating all the wonderful blessings that God has given us, all of the wonderful things that Jesus has taught us, and being able to have fun together learning more about his love. And don't worry if you've missed any of the previous episodes or if this is the first time that you've tuned in as all 50 are available to view on our YouTube channel. During today's assembly, we'll hear a Bible story about Jesus performing an amazing miracle. You'll get the opportunity to pause now so that you can talk with your friends and teachers about the sorts of things that you like to celebrate. And as always, we'll sing a song, we'll have a quiz, and don't forget to be on the lookout for Larry the Lettuce. And at the end of this special 50th episode celebration assembly, I'll show you all of the times that Larry's appeared during this half term. And I've also got something really important that I'd like to ask you all to do for me. So please make sure you stay tuned in right to the very end. Let's do the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, it's time for assembly. Oh yes. Our assembly today is all about celebrations. And I don't mean the type of chocolate, although they will feature a little later on. But what does it mean if we celebrate something? Well, to celebrate something means to take part in a special, enjoyable activity in order to show that a particular occasion is important. But what sorts of things do we celebrate and why do we celebrate them? What sorts of things do you think of when you think about celebrations? When I think about celebrations, I think about birthdays and anniversaries. I think about how I celebrate when my favourite team or sports person does really well in a match or competition. I think about how I feel when somebody I know achieves something really good or important, like passing an exam or getting a new job, and how I want to celebrate that with them. How I feel like celebrating when I've been feeling poorly and start to feel better again. Or maybe somebody I know hasn't been very well and I start to see them getting better. I often feel like celebrating when I've done well in a test or perhaps I do something that I've been worried about and it turns out better than I expected. Now that's just a few things that popped into my head and I'm sure you've probably thought of a lot of others. So why don't you pause now and spend a couple of minutes and talk with your friends and teachers about the types of things that you like to celebrate. Or perhaps you've celebrated something recently and you could talk about that. Then when you're ready, you can restart the video. So pause now. So today is our special 50th episode celebration assembly, when we're celebrating all the wonderful blessings that God has given us, all of the wonderful things that Jesus has taught us, and being able to have fun together learning more about his love. So what better way to do that than by singing a special celebration song? This song is called Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, turn water to wine. Celebrate Jesus, he healed the blind. Celebrate Jesus, ten lepers were cured. They were healed and their faith was restored. Celebrate Jesus, five thousand were fed. Celebrate Jesus, like a shepherd he led. Celebrate Jesus, gave hope to the poor. Now he lives in our hearts evermore. 
were born to be king to show us the way died on a cross for our sins he paid rose from a tomb it wasn't the end on his love we can always depend Celebrate Jesus, good with a touch. Celebrate Jesus, we owe him so much. Celebrate Jesus, get up now, he said to the man who was stuck in his bed. Celebrate Jesus, calm storms on the sea. Celebrate Jesus, he set people free. Celebrate Jesus, the nets overflow. On the world his true love was bestowed. Want to be king to show us the way Died on a cross for our sins he paid Rose from a tomb, it wasn't the end On his love we can always depend Celebrate Jesus, he died for me Celebrate Jesus, and his victory Celebrate Jesus, to his arms I'll run By his grace our new life has begun Celebrate Jesus, his spirit is here Celebrate Jesus, no longer I fear Celebrate Jesus, my saviour, my friend On his love we can always depend Born to be king to show us the way Died on a cross for our sins he paid Rose from a tomb, it wasn't the end On his love we can always depend Born to be king to show us the way Died on a cross for our sins he paid Rose from a tomb, it wasn't the end On his love we can always depend on his love we can always depend On his love we can always depend A little earlier we were talking about the types of things that we celebrate. And one of the things that you might have thought of is a wedding. And after any good wedding there's normally a wedding reception or party. Now some of you might remember in Virtual Minimix number 43, which was our Advent assembly, we were thinking about preparing for the coming of a king. And that got us thinking about preparing for a party and all the things that we need to do beforehand. Things like organising the invites, the music, the food and the decorations. But what would happen if we forgot something or if we ran out of something? Well that's what happened in our Bible story today. And it can be found in John chapter 2, and it says this. Jesus, his mother Mary, and his disciples had been invited to a wedding. All the guests were having a wonderful time, but then the wine ran out. Mary said to Jesus, they have no more wine. Jesus replied, woman, why do you involve me? My hour has not yet come. Mary told the servants to do whatever Jesus told them. Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding between 20 and 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them right to the brim. Then Jesus told them, now pour some out and take it to the person in charge. The servants did as Jesus asked and took the water which had now turned into wine. The man in charge tasted it. He didn't realise where it had come from, but the servants who poured it knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the best wine first and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. What Jesus did in Cana was the first of the signs and miracles through which he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Just imagine if you were the person in charge of this wedding reception. You've spent months planning and organising the finest of details only to get to the event and find out that you didn't have enough wine. But then Jesus comes to the rescue. If you tuned into last week's assembly, then you'll remember that we talked about how sometimes in life things don't turn out the way we might hope. In fact, sometimes life can be quite difficult for lots of different reasons. 
But when we ask Father God to be with us throughout our daily lives, then we're never on our own, as he's always there to talk to. He's always ready to help and to guide us, and sometimes to comfort us. But not only in the difficult times, but also in the good times. Today we're celebrating all the wonderful blessings that God has given us, all of the wonderful things that Jesus has taught us, and being able to have fun together, learning more about his love. And hopefully you might be thinking that having God in your life is something that you might like to try. Or maybe you've invited him already. Remember, in God's hands, the ordinary becomes extraordinary. So life might seem good now, but with God in it, it can be great. Now, don't forget that at the end of today's assembly, I have something really important to ask you all to do for me. But in the meantime, put your hands up if you've got a good memory. Well, I don't know if you'll remember this, but back in March last year, in virtual mini-mix number 24, we were thinking about celebrations as we headed towards Palm Sunday, hearing the Bible story called the triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Did anyone remember that? No, I didn't think so. But during that assembly, we had a special picture quiz, a quiz that I thought we could try again today. It's called the When is a Celebration Not a Celebration quiz. The rules are really simple. I'll show you a picture of two different chocolates and all you have to do is tell me which one comes from a box of celebrations. Here's the first one. How did you get on with today's quiz? Put your hands up if you got up to five of them right. What about six? Did anybody get seven? Or eight? Did anybody get all nine right? What about the bonus question? Put your hands up if you got that one right. Well, well done. And remember, it really doesn't matter how many you get right. It's just a little bit of fun to help us to celebrate. So now we're gonna sit really quietly. We're gonna put our hands together. We're gonna close our eyes. And I'm gonna say a prayer for everybody here. So let's do, let us pray. Father God, we give you thanks that we have so many things that we can celebrate in our lives. We give you thanks for our special 50th virtual mini-mix and all the fun that we've had together. 
We celebrate all the wonderful blessings that you've given us and all the wonderful things that Jesus has taught us. And we pray that we can continue having fun together, learning more about how much you love each and every one of us. We also pray that you'll continue to bless all of our friends, all of our family and everybody involved here in our lovely school. And this we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And now we're going to say together the Mini Mix Lord's Prayer. Heavenly Father of all, we honour you. We accept you as our King. May we follow your ways so the earth becomes like heaven. Give us all we need for our minds and bodies. Forgive us all that we do wrong as we forgive other people. Do not test us more than we can cope with and keep us from evil. The kingdom is yours, the power is yours, and the glory is yours. Amen. Did you all spot Larry the Lettuce today? Well, it's now time to show you all of the times that he's appeared during this half term. In Virtual Minimix number 46, which was our Epiphany Assembly, Larry appeared during the introduction to the Bible story about the three wise men. In Virtual Minimix number 47, which was our Waiting Assembly, Larry appeared after the quiz before we did Let Us Pray. In Virtual Minimix number 48, which was our Frog, Fully Rely on God Assembly, Larry appeared after the Pause Now before the song. In Virtual Minimix number 49, which was our Faithfulness Assembly, Larry appeared in the bonus question during the quiz. And in today's assembly, Virtual Minimix number 50, Larry has appeared several times. Once right at the start of the assembly, then again just before the countdown, and a third time before the song. In fact, he seems to appear every time I say our special 50th episode celebration assembly. He'll probably appear again before the end. Did you spot all the times that he appeared? Well, I'm sure that he will continue to make a special appearance during all of our future assemblies, so make sure you keep an eye out for him. I hope you've enjoyed today's special 50th episode celebration assembly and that you've learned a little bit more about Jesus and how special he thinks you are. At the start of today's assembly, I told you that I had something really important that I'd like to ask you all to do for me. What is it? Well, it's really simple. What I ask you to do is tell someone about our virtual Minimix assemblies. Perhaps you've got friends that go to a different school or family that don't live locally and you could tell them about what we do, having fun learning more about Jesus. Remember, it's easy to find us. Just search for Vine Youth Ministry or Virtual Minimix, Vine Youth Ministry or Virtual Minimix, and you should be able to find all of our previous assemblies. And don't forget that the songs are available on my album, The Mini Mixtape Volume 1, on all major platforms including Spotify, iTunes, Amazon and YouTube Music. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you all after half term. Bye! Da da da